not an LTS. This is an LTS. Oh, this is an LTS. All right, this might be the new LTS. We'll get used to how it looks, um, but let's hear what we think about it. The GT Center has had a complete overhaul from last season, vastly different to years past. We attended the official launch of the new bikes this year. We rode the Sensor and the Longer Travel Force. If you want to hear more about the whole revamp of the system, head over to our YouTube page or our website for the full rundown from the official launch. Righto, the new Sensor. Well, it uses 29 inch wheels. It's got 130 mils of travel front and back. This one uses a gorgeous carbon mainframe. There's a flip chip to switch between 66 and 65 and a half degrees head angle. Sells for four and a half thousand bucks. SRAM NX 12 speed drivetrain, SRAM level brakes and a RockShox sector fork. So what do we think of it? Well, this bike rides with a lot more composure than we expected. The, cha the chassis feels solid and at speed the slack steering and low front end give you a lot of confidence to keep pushing through those turns with only the hard compound non-tubeless tyres really holding you back from letting the brakes off completely. With 130 mils of fairly firmly tuned suspension, it gives you the feeling that you really know where you are in the suspension travel, which lets you feel and engage with the terrain. It feels fast, but not too nervous. During our testing period, we were often discussing GT's choice of specking the sensor with a carbon mainframe at this price point. While it might seem great value for four and a half grand, we feel that a few areas of the spec are a little compromised to make way for the carbon goodness. We tossed up the merit of having a bike with a high spec on an aluminium frame versus uh, the carbon frame with a lot slightly lower spec. For us, we prefer a high spec even if it meant on an aluminium frame, but if, but if you're the type of rider that upgrades bits and parts over time, the carbon frame will serve as a fantastic base to build on and the potential for building up a super light trail bike if it keeps scoring upgrades. Gripes, only a couple. We'd recommend changing tyres out for a softer and tubeless compatible set. And SRAM level brakes feel a little bit undergunned when the descents get long. Um, otherwise, it's great. We really enjoyed ripping around in the sensor. It's a solid all-rounder. The type of bike that feels fun yet fast, not soft and bouncy, and its laid-back geometry and solid chassis will let it handle quite a variety of trails.